Okay, you may be wondering what is this ukulele doing on a banjo channel? Well, it's because I want to make sure that you are aware that the same tech, the same three finger technique that works so well on the banjo also works really well on the ukulele. And I'm going to demonstrate that in just a second with a medley of holiday hits. But if you already play three finger banjo or you're learning to play or you want to learn, I would recommend strongly considering learning three finger ukulele as well. And I'm going to give you seven whole reasons why. Not one, not two, seven. Number one, if you already play the banjo, then you get to learn another instrument in a relatively short amount of time as your techniques are going to transfer very well. And one of the main reasons for that is that you have the fourth string of the ukulele pitched higher than the others, just like the fifth string of the banjo is pitched higher than the other strings. And because of the similarities, practicing three finger ukulele is a lot like practicing three finger banjo. Number two, it's super portable. Um, I don't always travel with the banjo or a guitar. Um, they take up a good bit of space. Um, they can be fairly heavy and flying with those instruments can be kind of dicey. Um, on the other hand, I never hesitate to grab the ukulele to bring along. So now, since I've started playing it, I never have to travel without an instrument, which for me is fantastic. Um, the ukulele is small, as you know, super light, and it also easily fits in the overhead compartment of an airplane. And you can get a great sounding ukulele for around $100. So even if it gets dinged up a little bit, um, which has yet to happen to me uh, when you're traveling, um, it's not the end of the world. It's also super easy to just leave around the house and grab and play for a few minutes. Third reason, like I just said, ukes are inexpensive, especially in comparison to other instruments. You can get a great sounding instrument for not a lot of money, um, I prefer the concert ukulele size, and I'll put a link in the description to the ukulele that I recommend folks start with, just one option. Reason number four, it's easier to learn on. I think you could make a good case for learning three-finger ukulele before you learn three-finger banjo. Because it has fewer strings and a smaller scale, it simplifies the process. And so you end up learning all the same techniques that are gonna translate well, but you learn them more easily and efficiently with less frustration than you would going straight to the banjo. So it makes for a great stepping stone, and then again you'll have two instruments that you can play uh, instead of one. Reason five is it's quieter than a banjo. You are much less likely to annoy people with an earshot with a ukulele than you are with a banjo, especially a three-finger banjo played with picks. So again, it allows you to practice three finger technique without those particular issues. Reason number six, it will make you a better banjo player. As I talked about in a recent Brainjo Bite episode, there is strong evidence that learning multiple instruments has a synergistic effect, meaning by learning both, you will be better at each instrument than you would be if you were only to stick to one. So a true win-win situation. And finally, reason number seven, maybe the best reason of all, it's fantastic for your brain. Um, as I also discussed in another recent Brain Joe Bite episode, learning a musical instrument is the ideal brain fitness activity. And the greatest benefits to the brain come early on in the learning process when you have the most to learn and when the brain must change and adapt the most in order to acquire the new skills that you're learning. So it's for all these reasons that there's a course of ukulele instruction in the Brain Joe Academy, and that course includes three-finger ukulele and claw hammer ukulele, which again make for great compliments uh, to three-finger banjo and claw hammer banjo. And to me, it's a no-brainer uh, to learn both of them. And since we're in the middle of December right now, I just put together a book of three-finger ukulele tabs uh, of holiday hits for folks who are in the ukulele course. And uh, now, to demonstrate three-finger ukulele, I'll play through a few of those. Mm -hmm. 